Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, we come at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have? Well, we're down 53 points on the S&P cash, down 316 on the Dow Nasdaq's down 200. Russell's off 44. Uh, crude oil's up just a tiny bit, about two tenths of a percent. Gold's up about 0.15 percent. Uh, Silver's up 10 cents. Uh, and of course, uh, when we look at some of the other stuff out here that's interesting, uh, TLT did try to get a bounce uh, today. Let's go ahead and bring that up, uh, TLT. Uh, didn't do much. Uh, again, it's broken through these lows. Uh, we've talked about this early, and the next real move is uh, probably what? Uh, 101, I think, is what we talked about earlier in the week. We went back in the way back machine to look. That's probably the next level. Uh, now, what do we have? We've got Monday, Tuesday. Monday, we probably have some volume. Tuesday probably gets quiet going into the Fed announcement uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday at 2. Uh, you also have a, a dog and pony uh, PR press announcement uh, discussion questions uh, from 2.30 to 3.15. So do you think you're really going to get a lot of people to want to get up in front of the Fed? Probably not. Um, so that is one of those things where you just have to say, if you don't have it by now, what's that song? If you don't love me by now, you'll never know. Oh, if you don't know me by now, you'll never, never know me. Well, I don't think if we, we haven't rallied by now, we're probably not going to rally before uh, the Fed announcement, uh, in my opinion. Right now, we're uh, at about 30, what, 3844, 3845 on the S&P cash. We are at the very edges of support. And really, the next uh, level of support is down almost 100 points uh, when I look at the charts on the S&P cash. So could we be uh, going into the Fed announcements next uh, Wednesday at uh, 2 o'clock at 34, uh, 37.50 or worse? Um, if we can't rally, the question is just how are we going to do that? Uh, very tough. Uh, we have a question here. Um, question about the XLE. Everything is broken in the options market. Just it's broken. We had an opportunity to pop back in to that today, and we have it. So when you're this far off, uh, you probably don't even want to look at options because everything in the market right now is broke to one level or another uh, for the relationships that most people count on going forward. So I would just say um, it's... Uh, Kind of like a jet fighter. The F-16, I think, was the first unstable fighter uh, that was made. And they had to have three computers. And if two of the three would uh, agree, then it would do something. But it was so unstable that it had to move the uh, surfaces uh, on the tail and on the wings about 100 some odd times a second. Uh, even just flying normally, because if it didn't, it would just get into oscillation and uh, start uh, start uh, uh, tearing the plane apart. Uh, I think that's now like a, a, a thousand times a second or 10,000 times a second. Um, but once you get to some level of support, if you've got systems that are not uh, self-leveling, uh, they just get worse and worse. And that's why I would say that as weird as it may sound, you could have another 90 points down yet today. Uh, the reason that uh, you are at support, though, but you break this and really the next level is about 90 points lower. 
Um, doesn't mean it's going to happen. Maybe it happens on Monday or Tuesday or into Wednesday. But uh, you're getting to the point now where uh, not only do you throw the baby out with the bathwater, but you start getting a self-actualizing uh, system, i.e. people sell because they have to sell, which creates more people selling that don't literally have to sell, but they sell. And it becomes this kind of uh, perpetual feedback loop uh, that drives markets a lot farther than you ever think uh, that they could get. So you want to watch out for that. Uh, we talked a little bit about the uh, 2 o'clock update, and that is um, uh, Federal Express coming out with an earnings uh, pre-announcement. Uh, almost never done. I went back this morning and tried to find any pre-announcements before a quad witching ever, and I couldn't find one. There's a, there were a couple of earnings dates that didn't turn out well. But there was never one that I found where they announced it. And I always kind of thought that everybody knew uh, that there, uh, it was probably something you shouldn't do. Uh, far too many things going on. So uh, was this the uh, last uh, bit of straw to break the camel's back? I don't know. I thought maybe you could have seen weakness uh, again earlier this morning. But it certainly seems like maybe someone was doing somebody a favor. Was it going to happen anyway? Yeah. But, uh, you know, maybe you, maybe you talk to the analysts over at Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley and you go, you know, things aren't quite looking real well. And they say, uh, you know what? Thursday night, maybe before the bell on Friday, maybe that'd be a good time for you to let people know and in the meantime, I'm going to run back to the office and short everything I can. Um, and that's generally why it's not done. Uh, they will have made themselves some enemies on Wild Street. Uh, and somebody earlier in the den was uh, in the morning was uh, saying that uh, some uh, lady on CNBC uh, did a uh, WTF. And, uh, yeah, I can I can see that. <laughs> that is uh, that is a faux pas, and we're not talking about uh, two uh, limousines pulling up to each other and asking themselves if they have any gray poupon. Uh, we're talking some real dust up. So maybe somebody's already on the way out the door, felt that it was a good time to repay a favor, or maybe somebody's in on it, but man. Yeah, it doesn't pass the smell test to me. In 20 years, I couldn't find anything where anybody pre-announced on a quad witching day. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at dfnn.com. And, of course, you can always put a message in the den. Let's see what we have here. Let's keep a close eye. Um, oh, go to the break. Uh, we come back, we'll talk about uh, margin selling. Maybe some of it's over, maybe not of all of it. But uh, we're getting to the point here in the next 15 minutes uh, where we might start seeing some. And if there's enough, we could break the support level we're at now. We'll be back in a minute. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. As we uh, come back, uh, we're watching kind of closely. Uh, as uh, that options, uh, or not options, the uh, uh, margin call time is coming. Uh, that's generally the order to put in at 2.30 if uh, they don't receive your wire transfer if you haven't made the cut. So we shall see. Uh, but uh, you see some, uh, uh, some permutations fairly quickly over the next 15, 30 minutes. That's uh, probably what it is. Then we're going to go into market on close orders for the week. Um, just wonder how many people want to sit on a losing position going forward and into Monday. But uh, we shall see. In the meantime, let's do a little history, then we'll move on to a lot of charts. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. And on this day, 1997, 12 years of the day after resigning from Apple, Steve Jobs is named interim CEO of Apple. Only seven months earlier, Jobs' uh, company Next was purchased by Apple. Just two months earlier, Gil Imalio resigned as Apple's CEO. Much of the technology acquired with the purchase of Next was used to build the Mac OS operating system, which became the core of the iOS operating system that still runs the iPhone and the iPad. Although I'm going to say that uh, eh, not, not all that much. It's certainly part of the Mac, but not that much of the iPhone and the iPad. And of course, this is one of the, the next machine was really one of the first Linux standalone machines uh, that had some kind of graphical interface on it. Uh, but uh, eh, almost uh, 12 years to the day, kind of a almost kind of a Moses story where you uh, uh, are put out in the desert for a while, uh, only to come back later. But uh, almost biblical on this day in 1997. Okay, so what do I want to go back to this? Okay, uh, we were looking at the TLT. Still under the line. I don't see anything 
it says that's going to bust out any time soon. What I did go through is a, a few people talking about some of their favorite fanboy stocks in the den today. And I wanted to go through uh, some of the most shorted stocks to see if there's anything we can find in those. Because at some point, don't know when it is, we will get a bounce. And these are the most hated stocks in the world at the moment. So we can take a look and see if there's much in here. Uh, ABCL, which is a, a biotech, eh, really don't have a lot of volume. You back the support on this one today. ADMA, which is uh, another biotech. Um, you may get a little bit of a bounce out of this one. Um, don't know enough about them on why they would be so uh, massively shorted, other than it's a $3 stock. Uh, and I think you have to be kind of nuts to be short anything uh, less than $30. But uh, keep an eye on that one. A-L-L-O. Allogene Therapeutics. And notice that there's starting to be a theme here on, what, on the most heavily shorted stocks. Uh, I did have a question, too, I'm going to get to. Uh, for uh, for uh, Cindy, and uh, she's asking about the uh, vaccine stocks. Um, we'll take a look here in just a minute. Uh, to, to, uh, anyway, uh, kind of back down, light volume. APPH. Short break there for a sneeze break. Uh, back to uh, under, actually, gap under support. I don't know what this stock actually is. Let's do this. To, 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 to app Harvest. It must be a little software stock. Uh, it has broken the previous lows with fairly light volume out here. That's one you may look at. I don't mind going long these stocks, but uh, I'm not much on somebody shorting a two dollar stock or still being short a two dollar stock uh algonquin power and utilities down a little bit today that's on lighter volume ati down a little bit fairly light volume i think that there's i mean we've got okay volume today and probably i'll have more by the close the interesting part to me is that uh they're really going after the uh bigger stocks today uh, than some of the others. Okay. Bridge Biopharma, BBIO, BCE. Another one. These all gap down and, and uh, as they said, uh, broke through ice, which is support. Uh, BioCrisp Pharmaceuticals, this one's back to support. Actually, one of the better looking ones out here. So maybe something in this uh, come Monday. Right now, this gapped up on August the 4th, did so on almost 12 million shares, back into it today with 2 million shares. So as I said, uh, not a lot of these bio tech stocks looking that good, but that is one. Oh, let's get to the one before I look at it. Being therapeutics just going sideways. Uh, question about uh, Pfizer. Uh, probably the most interesting thing lost in the news this week is at least in the UK, and from my reading, it sounds like uh, this is going to uh, go through all of Europe fairly soon. And that is that uh, they will not be giving, uh, and actually, I don't know if it, you would say it's illegal, but they're certainly taking it off label to give anybody vaccines uh, that are under 12. It always seemed uh, from the data I saw somewhat problematic, but uh, starting on Monday, nobody in the UK under 12 will be getting the jab. Uh, I'm wondering if that isn't something that's going to slowly move, like I said, to the rest of Europe, 
uh, was some articles I read this morning that talked about that. And then, um, yeah, maybe uh, maybe over here the same thing. Uh, I've seen more than a few people that aren't crackpots saying that probably the risk reward is rather poor for the young. Anyway, uh, it's kind of down at lows. You know, the market's already out here. Uh, could that bad news already be priced in or the lack of new customers priced in? Don't know. Uh, August 31st, 26 million shares just going sideways out here in the last three days. So a lot of shorts in these biotechs. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. We've got just a tiny bit of short covering in some of the more uh, heavily shorted stocks. Over the last few days, Microsoft, NVIDIA, actually NVIDIA positive on the day by a buck. Uh, I thought we'd probably have a bigger rally today, so we were buying uh, Apple, Microsoft, uh, and uh, NVIDIA uh, calls uh, on the big dip this morning. I got out early uh, after the first big pop, um, didn't want to hang around to the rest of the day. I just didn't see that much in. You can always get back in later, of course. But, uh, you know, to actually see NVIDIA up on a day like this um, means that maybe we've seen enough uh, short covering. I mean, um, margin calls. Uh, not really seeing much at this period of time. 
I don't know if there's a whole lot to the upside, but uh, does maybe give us an idea that maybe this morning we did have kind of a decent washout. Uh, still off uh, 40, 45 on the S&P cash. We've really kind of been bouncing around uh, down 40 to 56, 57 points for a while. Uh, okay. Uh, let's take a look at some other ones out here. BLNK. Again, we're going through the most heavily shorted stocks on the chances of something really good happening uh, for like a short squeeze. Not much going on this. Blink charging. Uh, just down. Not a lot of volume, though. BNS. Uh, Bank of Nova Scotia. Uh, now, actually, doesn't look too bad here. We don't know the close quite yet. Uh, September 7th, low is one and three quarter million shares at 5308. You got, uh, yeah, 5305. You hit it to the penny today. You got about half that volume so far. So maybe you want to take a little bit closer look over the weekend on the banks. Clear Channel Outdoor down a little bit on light volume. Let's take a real quick look at CHK. Chesapeake Energy. I'm very kind of interested to see that the stocks around natural gas and uh, crude weren't as good as some of the stock uh, wasn't as good as the underlying instrument itself. People talking about the XLE and the DIN this morning and afternoon. Um, you kind of gap down. You got to think that generally. When people are, are afraid, they're either going into gold or energy. And while the uh, food was basically flat, uh, XLE is down. Volume's about okay. This looks like you're going to get a retest of the September 7th low. That had 30 million shares. You got 24 already. So you're already back into that candle. You're probably going to have that volume. It may be, just be that you need to trade the crude until this gets back in line and we find some kind of low. But uh, it's not uncommon to find people selling whatever they can instead of whatever they should. Uh, that's a big thing on Wall Street. It's just too low to sell. We'll wait for a bounce. And, of course, they sell the thing that probably is going to make them the most amount of money uh, in the near future, which is crude. Uh, to, to, <laughs> yeah, I, I saw Jim, uh, Zach. I already saw that. Uh, let's take a look at T Doc. Uh, T D O C. Real quick. Uh, just kind of hanging out the lows. T D O C. I do like the way this thing's facing out. On the monthly, you got 21. Per, oh, you got 21 percent in six days to cover. So that is a very interesting setup. I want the market to find some kind of low because you can still break through it in a bad enough uh, market. But uh, yeah, that's everything you're looking for in a pattern: a very long sideways consolidation, uh, very narrow risk reward. Let's see what we're doing out here today. $30.04. Not bad. I mean, ideally, you'd want to see this thing in the 28s, maybe the high 27s. But uh, going against almost 12 million shares uh, with a little under 3 million right now. And even if you look at the this last low on September 7th, you had a little over 4 million shares, which you're going to come under. So kind of what you're looking for, good, decent re risk reward. My guess, though, is none of these are probably going to see a significant turn until we get to Wednesday. Uh, continuing to see a little bit of action and some short covering, uh, mostly in these bigger stocks, uh, as we said, in NVIDIA. Let's take a look at Microsoft. Kind of late in the day, but still getting it. Uh, Microsoft's got a little hammer candle down here developing. Uh, not bad into the candle of 
June 14th that had 46 million shares. You got about 31. Uh, that was from yesterday. Today, you only have about 23 million shares who so are making kind of a light volume hit on there. So you could maybe see some people giving up the ghost on uh, perpetually hammering it away. What else do we have? Quick question uh, about AMD. Is there anything else out in that one? Still a negative on the day for uh, AM. Well, about 72 cents, I think, right? Mm. So you're kind of in there. You are a little higher than the open, but still down. Doesn't look bad, though. Downside is you just have too much volume on AMD. Uh, wrote a little bit about it. Going to write more about it on Monday in the Tech Insider. But Ethereum has had its branch. And that means that you no longer have to mine for Ethereum. Uh, you're doing a, instead of mining away and having GPUs, that that is over. Uh, and a lot of questions on how many more cards are going uh, are gonna to become available in the market for NVIDIA and AMD. Uh, I think that there is a uh, always a bull market somewhere if you look. And uh, I'm going to be covering that on Monday on uh, just uh, where that bull market is because of uh, maybe more uh, and cheaper video cards. Uh, but certainly you got too much volume, at least uh, you're only down about 10, 15 million shares uh, into the previous low and you haven't tested the 7160. So that's still there. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of bouncing around on there now to 44 points on the S&P cash, but very light um, and variable. I don't see a lot one way or the other. My guess is it'll probably be the last 30 minutes of the day as most of the quad witching days end up having their big last moves in the very uh, tail end of it. A question to look at, at Micron real quick. We'll do that too. Do we have everything handled here? Do I have any more emails? All of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Eats got we're all caught up. Uh, email me or give me a call. 877-927-6648. Tap tfn.com or put a message in the den. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. talk about micron uh pretty nice light volume test of the previous low out here you just have a few more pennies to go test the previous 51 dollar and 30 cent low that's july 1st low of this year uh 44 million shares uh you got uh 10 now you had 15.6 yesterday so certainly coming back into some level of support um uh, and like i said uh if you break support here, it becomes far more problematic because the next real support level I have uh, penciled in here is 100 points lower on the S&P cash. So we shall see. Uh, what else were we talking about? Oh, uh, during the break, uh, uh, Duffy and the Den brought up international paper and packaging. I brought that up. Uh, packaging uh, to international paper. But if you want to see what's going on in the industrial sector of the United States, uh, International Paper and uh, Packaging Corporation of America tend to be the leaders and are very good to look at uh, going forward. But the huge uh, destruction today in international paper um, on volume tells you a lot. If you're going to ship something, if you're going to put some dog food out, if you're doing anything, a label for a can, these guys do it all. You got uh, two, uh, the big two out here, both telling you the same thing, breaking the previous uh, lows with heavy volume. And uh, that's generally a response to uh, orders being pulled back, or i.e. a recession. So... Good to, you know, when you start seeing those uh, hit back up in six months or a year or whenever uh, the recession's over, uh, they tend to lead a little bit, too, as orders come back. So those are good canary in the coal mine stocks to watch. Uh, to, to, to what else do we have? Okay. Question about IBB as we go through these. Uh, yeah, not bad. Getting back into the low of the 7th of September. That had 1.3 million shares. Uh, is that right? 1.3 is a day before you had 2.8. Uh, and you've got about 1.2 today. So it's actually not too bad. Uh, you still need to retest the 119.31 before I'd want to get involved in such a nasty market. But weirder things have happened. Uh, but at least light volume in that. Uh, what was I going to talk about? I can't move right now. I did that one. We did that one. Oh, question about Tesla. Um, why most options don't matter. Um, I'm going to tell you that they're pinning uh, Tesla today at 300, and we'll see how that comes in. But my guess is that it comes in with uh, uh, and closes within 50 cents of above 300 or below 300. 
So keep an eye on that. Uh, there's a ton of people playing options, and the easiest thing to do is send all that money to Money Heaven, uh, as they probably normally would in the rest of the market, uh, but uh, not today. Again, quad witching is one that I don't spend a lot of time uh, trying to uh, pick the close. It just becomes way too uh, problematic with all the hedges that come on and off. Uh, and so if you're going to use kind of max pain stuff and look at it, uh, does it still work? Yeah, some things like Tesla, a uh, great deal. There's just too much uh, hedged on different things like futures and everything else. Uh, options become a little cloudy. Uh, I haven't looked at the Metamucil yet today. Someone brought that up in the uh, den. Uh, it just keeps going down. Uh, I brought it up a little earlier, but we've got some stocks with some mountainous amounts of fines from the EU coming. You've got uh, Apple facing a possible $36 billion fine. You've got Google facing facing maybe a $24 billion fine. And my understanding is that Facebook is yet facing another fine. They changed laws over there for these big companies and they can fine them up to 10% of their gross worldwide receipts for violating a variety of their privacy laws. And uh, uh, I think at some point, these guys are going to start paying attention. What you haven't really done, you've got a little bit of volume out here, is really blow through the lows on a heavier volume. I mean, it's been good. Uh, is it a knockdown drag out? No. But uh, these guys haven't gotten religion um, for uh, Facebook, Meta, Musil, Apple, Google, or the rest. I don't think much is going to happen either. Okay, do I have that? I do not. Okay. And uh, is that Rupert? Rupert wants to know. I'm suspecting Rupert is not his real name. Uh, how many Ruperts do we have here in the United States? Not many. I'm not making for your name. Just thinking that it's probably not the standard name. Uh, Roku. They just going sideways. Uh, this was one that I got to a lot of heat for two years saying I had no idea how they uh, made their money. And uh, we found out that they weren't. <laughs> they, uh, maybe the most interesting thing that happened is their last earnings uh, report came out. Uh, they did start to loot on how they make some of their money. And if you get one of their little remotes, you'll find that it's got like Apple Plus and stuff on that. But when you get the remote, depends on uh, what is going to be the button that goes to uh, Apple Plus or Amazon Prime or the rest. And uh, very interesting uh, that uh, they finally admitted that selling those buttons was about half of all the money that they made. And uh, not that many people using them. And so they had to charge less uh, for the buttons that go on the remote. Okay. Um, take a quick look at docs. I don't have all these. But many of these, Doximity, have made some lows out here on lighter volume. This is looking interesting, DOCS. Uh, except the, really the reason I'm looking at these is not that I want to marry them, but they have super high short interest. And if we do get any kind of lows, probably out of the Fed on Wednesday, uh, if we get any kind of short squeezes, they'll probably be biblical uh, with as many people uh, have already sold and not that many people left to sell. And if you haven't sold by now, I wonder the question is, you're not just going to ride these things into the ground. Anyway, 2.2 uh, million shares on September 1st at 31.14. Uh, four cents shy, uh, shy today, but on less than half the volume. We'll be back in a minute.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we get ready to wrap up the uh, show for today, uh, down 36, eh, 35 on the S&P. Getting just a little hint, uh, weren't able to bust through the lows here today, so maybe we get a little bit of short covering before the end of the day. And uh, yeah, we're back over some of the ones I bought earlier, but I sold earlier um, when they went into uh, uh, in the money today when I bought earlier, but. Uh, yeah, Apple's about where it was when it popped earlier. NVIDIA is just a little higher. It got to about 131 earlier in the day, kind of hovering around those levels. So you've got a little bit. My guess is you're going to have to uh, stare down the barrel of a gun into the close today. But uh, it wouldn't be surprising to see a 3,900 close out here. Uh, again, you are at support levels, and if those break, it's much farther down, but this is really the last line in the sand, and uh, I don't know if I'd want to be long those come Monday, but uh, there is the possibility that you get a little bit of short squeeze before the end of the day. Uh, does that cover just about everything I wanted to, other than it's quad witching? We've got about a little less than 8 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape, which isn't huge and not, but on quad witching, you tend to get about 3 billion shares in the last 10 minutes. 
Um, a lot of that is from dark pools that gets reported late, so you really don't know about that. So we want to watch uh, the volume pretty much. You're going to have to wait until after the close to really figure out how well these stocks did or didn't do into the close. But that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it. We'll see you Monday. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Trading in the stock market seems a